Welcome to Chalk Walks. This case is a case of a 13-year-old male castrated Boston Terrier who was presented um, to the clinic with seizure activity. I think we'll find later that this was described, uh, what the owners described was probably a collapse associated with syncope and had had varying degrees of this um, activity over the last six months. In addition, the animal has, was, had defecated and was vomiting, and re referring veterinarian had shown increased liver enzymes, uh, and had prescribed uh, the ACE inhibitor, um, an allopril, denosyl, which is SAM-E, uh, adenosyl, methionine, and furosemide, the loop diuretic. Presumably with the concept that this was associated with mitral valve insufficiency, although no, no uh, murmur is ascribed, and um, some degree of heart failure. And so the concept was that this animal had syncope, due to pulmonary hypertension uh, and some abdominal effusion. I didn't go into the details on that. And the overall diagnosis, con or at least working diagnosis, was right-sided heart failure. Uh, and the possibility of a perihilar mass seen on ultrasound uh, in, ra in a radiograph. So um, therapy and this animal at the time was just simply being observed in the uh, ICU and treated with a high dose of furosemide at one milligram per kilogram every 12 hours. And so what is, what is the goal of using uh, this loop diuretic? And the, it's the only uh, loop diuretic, uh, basically when we say that, it means a thick ascending limb of Henle. It inhibits the um, reabsorption of sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium uh, in the thick ascending limb of Henle and is a very potent, what we call high ceiling diuretic. Now, this, is, this may make sense from the standpoint of the buildup of fluid. Um, however, it has uh, an additional effect that we can ascribe to the to uh, furosemide special characteristic to um, increase prostaglandin I2, prostacyclin, in the pulmonary vasculature. And it is this characteristic that makes it particularly useful for the management of pulmonary hypertension. It's also the reason in horses that it's used for um, animals that are called bleeders, which is also a form of pulmonary hypertension. Um, it's not so effective at abdominal effusion, however, uh, when there's a respiratory component, clearly we have uh, pulmonary concern over pulmonary edema, and using aggressive amounts of furosemide are fairly typical in this situation. Now, what do we have to worry about? We have to worry about the animal uh, developing uh, potassium deficiency, hypokalemia, uh, and this can lead to um, concerns over weakness and also increased um, likelihood of ECG abnormalities. So when an animal is not eating, um, we may want to supplement potassium. If the animal can eat a little bit, we can add it to the, add an oral potassium uh, gluconate, which is a very safe thing to do. Um, or if we're giving IV fluids, which I think in this case, uh, given in a fairly conservative way, um, can, if the animal's not eating and taking an adequate uh, potassium, we may want to supplement potassium in the IV fluids. Now, back to the argument for the drugs up here at the top, um, the ACE inhibitor um, analopril is there to 
reduce the secondary effects of a failing or, or regurgitant heart, which then leads to a failure of forward flow, and all of the secondary effects that are associated with the renin, angiotensin, aldosterone system that include that lead to sodium retention, water retention, the reason we use the loop diuretic. Um, the ACE inhibitor is targeted at the conversion of angiotensin 1 to 2, and angiotensin 2 is a very potent, uh, potent vasoconstrictor. So we're trying to block this effect, and, uh, and, that lead, and that would also help with hypertension in general, but also pulmonary hypotension. It also reduces the uh, preload and the afterload, meaning making the heart work less hard. Um, now, what about the SAM, the s methionine? Well, because of the increased liver enzymes that were noted, um, the possibility here is that the animal has some renal, excuse me, liver damage, um, and it is not as capable of uh, having the same reducing capacity, therefore the intracellular glutathione uh, has fallen, and so the use of SAMe is a relatively uh, acid adenosyl methionine is a precursor uh, amino acid with sulfhydryl groups, and it allows glutathione to be propped up within the hepatic parenchyma. So in these terms, uh, looking at this animal's therapy, um, there certainly are other things that have to be worked up at this point. Uh, to be more specific. However, uh, this would be the explanation for the drugs that uh, we saw in this animal as it came in to an ICU situation.